Dear grade 11 students, welcome to English 202. Before I proceed further, as usual, I would request you to bring your textbook, your notebook or papers, pen or pencil, and a dictionary because you might need to refer to it and have yourselves comfortably seated. Our lesson today is going to be about direct and reported speech, Unit 11, Lesson 2. The objectives that will be tackled are by the end of this lesson, you should have identified the use of direct and reported speech, distinguished between direct and reported speech, written sentences using reported speech. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to read the following sentences and note down the difference. I'll give you two minutes to read them. Okay, let's read the sentences together. She said the sink is clogged up. She said that the sink was clogged up. She told her husband, I spoke to the landowner. She told her husband that she had spoken to the landowner. He told her, turn off the water. He told her to turn off the water. He said, don't turn on the heat. He said not to turn on the heat. What do you notice? Direct and reported speech. Reported is also what we call indirect. So this is the direct and this is the indirect or the reported speech. So here, someone, when we say reported, I am telling it to someone. Whereas here, it's actually direct to the main person. So reported speech is also known as indirect speech, used to communicate what someone else said, but without using the exact words. It, usually, it is usually used to talk about the past. So here what's happening is that I am telling someone what happened with me. So I'm talking in the past and I'm reporting it. I'm keeping the other person informed. What else? This is a statement and this is imperative. What do we mean by imperative? That means it's usually uh, said in an order form, a command, or a polite request. So here, he told her, turn off the water. So he is telling her, he's ordering her, or commanding her, or requesting her to turn off the water. Here, he told her to turn off the water. I am reporting, I'm telling you what happened. Now let's see if we're going to convert the direct to indirect speech, what will happen? Now, before I proceed further, I would please request you to take your notebooks or your papers and note down because you will need to refer to it. It's important. Take notes. Let's see. If we are talking 
about simple present, it will be converted to simple past when it's reported. So for example, when we say, Anna said, I want an ice cream. But when I will report it, it will, com it will convert into, she wanted an ice cream. Whereas, she wanted an ice cream, simple past, will be converted to past perfect. So it's going to be, she had asked for an ice cream. Pay attention. Present perfect, past perfect. She asked, she has asked for an ice cream. She had asked for an ice cream. The same. Past perfect stays the same, past perfect. She had asked for an ice cream. She had asked for an ice cream. It's already reported. Okay, so as easy as the direct, uh, the direct speech is when you're talking directly to the person, reported is from the title itself, you're reporting to someone. Pay attention, it's all about the tense. So pay attention to the tense because the, ten the tense keeps changing all over while you're moving from the direct to the indirect or to the reported speech, okay? So the summary of the whole thing, you can note it down again, this is very important. It's the summary of the examples presented. Simple present becomes simple past. Simple past, present perfect, past perfect becomes past perfect. This is the indirect or the reported speech. Similarly, the indirect or the reported speech. I'll give you 30 seconds to note them down. Okay, now let's move further. Converting direct to reported speech, what happens is that a change of pronouns, change of place and time words. So it changes the, the tense, the pronouns, the place and the times, the time words. Fixate on these things. So what happens here? This is the direct speech. And when you're converting it to the reported or indirect speech, this is what happens. Again, I'll give you one minute to look at it and read it silently. Note it down if you need. Okay, so remember, very important to remember that when converting the direct to a reported speech, it changes the tense, the pronouns, the place, and the time words. That being said, let's see the imperative. Now we presented the statements, now let's move to the imperative. Imperative, we said, is while you're requesting, commanding something, or politely asking something. So, number one, question. Do you like your math class? Reported. She asked me if whether I liked my math class. Another question. Who is your friend? She asked me 
who my friend was. A command. Drink a lot of tea. He told us to drink a lot of tea. Negatives. Don't eat my strawberries. Don't eat my strawberries. Here it stays the same. But he or she is telling me not to eat them. So it's a polite request or a command. So it doesn't change. Okay? Now, that being said, I expected you noted all the important things. Let's do the activity together. Read the statements in direct speech and complete the reported speech statements. I'll give you one minute to do it. There is an example. Lynn said, our kitchen sink is clogged up. Lynn said that their kitchen sink was clogged up. Direct, indirect or reported. Similarly, I want you to do the rest. I'll give you one minute. Let's check our answers all together. So the model answer, number two, Marcos told Lind, your landlord sounds awful. Direct. The reported, Marcos told Lind that her landlord, landlord sounded awful. Three, Marcos told her, you have rights. Direct. The reported, Marcos told her that she had rights. Four, she said, I don't want to complain. Direct, reported, she said that she did not want to complain. Okay, now let's have another exercise. Imagine that a plumper gives you the following advices for taking care of your plumping. Re rewrite each imperative as reported speech. So here, what we said imperative is, it's a request or a command. So what we're expecting you to do is to do the rest. Again, there is example number one, pay attention to your drains. Tell, so I'm telling you the word that, that is supposed to be converted. He told me to pay attention to my drains. Similarly, I'm expecting you to do the rest. I'm going to give you one minute to do it. Okay, let's check our answers all together. So, number two, pouring boiling water down the drains once a month. Tell should be used. He or she told me to pour boiling water down the drains once a month. Three, put a screen over the drain. Say, he 
slash she told me to put a screen over the drain. Four, don't throw paper, paper towels into the toilet. The word tell. He or she told me not to throw paper towels into the toilet. Five, call me as soon as you have a problem. The word ask. He or she asked me to call him or her as soon as I have a problem. Okay, with that, we reached the end of the lesson. Thank you and see you soon.